Having carefully taken into account the immense socio-economic and technological impact of 5G over other previous generations of networks, the overwhelming aggregate of favorable opinions for majority of stakeholders for its deployment, coupled with the fact that same has been successfully deployed in more advanced countries. The Joint Committee hereby shares the recommendations of very sensitive government establishments, such as the Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy, the Nigerian Communications Commission, the Office of the National Security Advisor, the National Information Technology Development Agency, etc., and other telecoms professional organizations, such as the Association of Telecommunications Company of Nigeria, ATCON, Association of Licensed Telecommunications Operators of Nigeria, Alton, and the Global System of Mobile Communications Association, that it is appropriate for Nigeria to join the Committee of Nations that are engaged in the deployment of 5G for all its inherent gains. Though there is still a fair bit of work to be done towards creating the required environment and support ecosystem for 5G development in Nigeria, the Joint Committee is convinced that having witnessed what has been achieved by its lesser ancestors such as 3G and 4G, the technological impact of 5G will be such that we revolutionize, uh, revolutionize Nigerians' way of life from education to agriculture, security to entertainment, and governance in general if the technology is deployed. While the Joint Committee clarifies that there is no 5G deployment in Nigeria at the moment and that no license has been issued to any mobile number operator on commercial basis, it is our recommendation that Nigeria should still observe the trend of 5G deployments around the globe and engage in extensive sensitization of the public through all channels before commencement of commercial deployments in Nigeria. Relevant government agencies are also urged to embark on preparing the ground for putting the necessary infrastructure and technology in place for its eventual deployment. This period of ground preparation is expected to be utilized to complete feasibility studies for the various broadband projects in order to ascertain actual cost implications for their implementation, complete sustainability plans, provide enabling environment, including free right of way, tax waivers, sustainable power supply, improve security of men, materials, and equipment, eliminate multiple regulations and charges, recognize telecommunications infrastructure as public utility infrastructure, and engender public trust and confidence. The Joint Committee further recommends that global standards for the deployment of 5G technology should be strictly adhered to while looking out for lesser learned by lessons learned by countries that have already deployed in order to guide our own deployment. Lessons from South Korea, the first country with substantial deployment, will be instructive in this regard. It is imperative that intense safety standards and precautions based on available evidence are put in place for wireless radiation systems ahead of wide-scale implementation. Furthermore, given the infancy of the technology across the globe, and the claims and counterclaims surrounding the possibility of health injury being posed to public health by the level of exposure to radio frequency, it is recommended that further attention should be given to testing and researching potential health risks that may arise from the deployment of 5G network in Nigeria considering real life situation rather than just laboratory conditions. The Joint Committee urged the Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy to expedite the action of the committee put in place to develop consultation document for the deployment of 5G in Nigeria, which will include planning spectrum identified for 5G with the inputs of all relevant stakeholders, such as the relevant committees of the National Assembly and security agencies. The Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy is also urged to publish 
the outcome of the work of its technical advisory committee charged to advise on emerging technologies and products, and as a matter of urgency, build the national backbone, which will run from Lagos to Katsina, Trans-Saharan Optic Fiber, Fiber Network, to move much of the bandwidth from the shore to the interland and for distribution to the geopolitical zones. Despite the almost general consensus concerning the harmlessness of 5G to human health, the Joint Committee hereby recommends that the Nigerian Communications Commission, in collaboration with the Mobile Network Operators, Federal Ministry of Health, Federal Ministry of Science and Technology, Federal Ministry of Environment, and the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, among others, should locally conduct a scientific experiment study over a period of about six months to ascertain if a correlation exists between 5G networks and public health. Also concerning the interaction between COVID-19 and 5G network technologies, the Joint Committee confirms and is convinced that there is no connection between them. The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic is caused by biological agent a virus which is scientifically connected with the 5G technology. Responding to rumors across the world that link COVID-19 to 5G, the International Commission on Non-Iodizing Radiation Protection, ICNRP, stated thus, I quote, the claim that exposure to ele electromagnetic field generated by 5G can both cause COVID-19 and increase its severity are not supported by any evidence, not even extremely weak evidence. And the large body of scientific knowledge regarding the uh, electromagnetic fields relevant to 5G demonstrates that those claims are not feasible. While appreciating the concern of the Office of the National Security Advisor over the national security implication of 5G technology deployments, the Joint Committee hereby recommends, as postulated by the Office of the National Security Advisor, the establishment of an interagency working group comprising of the Office of the National Security Advisor, the Nigerian Communications Commission, the Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy, and other stake, uh, relevant stakeholders to assess and address all the national security concerns highlighted in paragraph 9.14 and develop necessary risk management framework that would ensure that future deployment of the technology will be done in a manner that protects Nigeria's national security interests. Conclusion, Mr. President, distinguished senators, the Joint Committee expresses profound